Abdominal muscles are such a good idea they evolved twice. We thought that the specialized stomach muscles were unique to land animals, but new fossils show that they also evolved in a ferocious armor-plated fish. The new fish fossils contain the oldest preserved muscles ever found. While most fossils only preserve the hard parts of animals, like bones and teeth, these fossil fish contain soft tissues. Per Alberg of Uppsala University in Sweden and colleagues found the fossil fish in the Gogo Formation in Western Australia, where an ancient reef community has been exquisitely preserved. Normally, when soft tissues like muscles are preserved at all, they are squashed flat. It's like studying a pressed flower, says Alberg. But the remains in the Gogo Formation are preserved in three dimensions. The fossils Alberg found belong to early jawed fish called Placoderms movie camera, which had tough sheets of body armor that covered their heads and parts of their bodies. Most of them were carnivores. Some were quite scary, big time predators, says Alberg. One, known as Dunkleosteus, grew to 10 meters in length. Using fragments from three Placoderm fossils, Alberg was able to piece together some of their musculature. In part, what we see matches what people expect, he says. But there are also some very unexpected things. ABS of steel. The big surprise was in the placoderm's abdominal muscles. All modern fish have muscles running lengthways around their bodies, which form the layered segments in fish fillets. But the placoderms had strips of transverse muscles, running at right angles to the other muscles, on their bellies. These are quite specialized muscles, says Alberg. They're present in all land vertebrates, and they hold the belly in. No modern fish have them because there is no need the water supports their bellies. We were stunned to find that our ancient fossil fishes had ABS, says co-author Kate Trinajstik of Curtin University in Perth, Australia. Nobody knows why the placoderms had abdominal muscles like these. Alberg says it might be because of the rigid armor covering the front halves of their bodies. This thing has a corset worthy of Roger Moore in his later James Bond films, he says. As the placoderm swam, waving its tail from side to side, the back half of its body would have swung from side to side as well. That would have created powerful shearing forces against the armor plates. The abdominal muscles could have worked to stop this happening. I could see something like that, agrees Philip Anderson at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, who was not involved in the study. If the whole back of that body starts moving back and forth, you'll start bending the plates. The abdominal muscles could have helped keep the body, and its armor, steady. Jaws of Death Alberg found that each placoderm also had two pairs of muscles reaching from its shoulder girdle to the top of its head. These muscles would have pulled the head up and down, with the help of a hinge joint linking the head to the shoulders. These muscles may have made the placoderms fiercer predators, says Alberg. When the fish opens its mouth, it's also raising the skull, he says. That opens the mouth very vigorously, so it becomes quite an effective biting mechanism. It could have aided in bite performance, agrees Anderson, and maybe how fast it opened its jaws. Anderson says the new fossils raise new questions even as they answer old ones. It answers the question about the head and neck muscles, he says, but now paleontologists will have to figure out what the abdominal muscles were for.